Hello everyone, I figured it was time to revisit my top mods videos since my previous ones are a bit outdated. I mean some of the mods I listed in those videos aren't even available anymore, so yeah, time for an update. Now I'm going to be focusing on building mods, the ones that give us really cool structures, not so much decorations or settlement tweaks like scrapping mods or no build limit, all of those will have their own videos coming up. So as I talk about each one of these mods, I'm going to be flipping through their menus so you can get an idea of what comes with them, but I'm not going to be talking about every little thing these mods give us because that would literally take days to do, and as much as I love these mods, I got I got like a job, you know, and, and things to do, man. But I have used all of these mods before in previous builds, so in the description I will have a link to each build video that demonstrates what you can do with each of these mods. So definitely check those out afterwards. But alright, let's uh, let's get into it. So these aren't in any particular order, or are they? No, they're, they're not. I don't know why I said that. But the first one is Snappy House Kit, which is available for Xbox and PC and does not require any DLCs to install. Now, PS4 users, before you start rage typing some well thought out comments about how Sony sucks, which in this case they do, or about how I suck, which in most cases I don't, I will mention alternative PS4 mods for each of these that I go over. So Snappy House Kit pretty much defines what a building mod is. It only gives us structure items like walls, floors, roofs, uh, railings, and wallpapers, and just so much more. But there's a ton of variety. If you check out my Sanctuary build playlist, the majority of those builds I'm using Snappy House Kit. Like Valentine's Office, the factory, the hotel, you can even build the church. And my most popular video, Build Your Own Sanctuary House, I use Snappy House Kit for the walls. So if you want to see some examples of what you can build with this mod, I'll have a link to that playlist and to the other video in the description. But to me, like the coolest thing about it is we can build a lot of the structures we've seen across the Commonwealth. Some of these items like roof trims and balconies, I haven't seen in any other mod. So if you're looking to expand what types of structures you can build, this is the best mod for that. Alright, PS4 users, there are essentially three mods that are good alternatives to the ones I'm talking about, which are USO, Unlock Settlement Objects, Workshop Items, and Workshop Items Base Game. The last two are pretty much the same thing, the first one just adds more items to the base game mod. Now keep in mind, I don't have a PS4, so if I'm missing any, then definitely let me know, but I checked all kinds of forums, I checked Reddit, I went through all the PS4 workshop mods on Bethesda.net, and these are the best ones I've seen relating to structures. Really the best one is USO, and if you have the DLCs then even better because there are USO mods for each DLC. Workshop items is pretty cool, but the only problem is that some of the walls and floors don't snap, it's, it's kind of hit or miss. Which obviously can be a pain in the ass, but it does give you a lot of these items. Now, as I mentioned, I didn't see a lot as far as building mods go, but for decorations and even settlement tweaks, I saw a few on there that looked really cool that I haven't seen before, which I'm going to talk about in my next couple of mod videos coming up. Alright, so the next one is the Master Plan Mod Series. This one is really cool because you can pick and choose which mods you want to use. The ones I use a lot are Vanilla Extensions, Red Rocket Reborn, Stairs, Ladders, Ramps, Bob's Iguana Diner and Adam's Greatness, but there are several more to go with it. So the way it works is you have to download the Master Plan plugin mod, which is kind of like a base mod. This adds the Master Plan tab under your wood tab, and then you can download whichever other ones you want. They're just not going to work without the Master Plan base mod. And you want to make sure that the base mod is above all other Master Plan mods in the load order. So once you install the other mods, they will all be listed under that new tab in the wood category. There are a few exceptions though, some of them have different versions where you don't have to download the main plugin mod, and I think two of them require DLCs, uh, Vanilla Extensions and Port Royal, but again, there are versions of them that don't require DLCs or the main plugin. So if you're curious as to what all is out there, just go to Bethesda.net, search Master Plan, and you'll see all the mods available. My favorite one is Vanilla Extensions. It, it gives us a lot of new structure items that you won't get from any other mod, and it improves the vanilla snapping system, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a few minutes. So again, check out the description. You'll see a link to my skyscraper build under Vanilla Extensions because I use a lot of items from that mod in that build. 
The next one is Settlement Objects Expanded, or SOE. Again, this one is available for Xbox One and PC. There are two versions, one that requires all DLC and one that doesn't, so you do have options there. This mod is huge. It adds so many items to the menu, and not just to the Structures tab, but also furniture, decorations, power, and probably more, but I don't know. I was going to look into it a little bit more, but, uh, well, I just, I just didn't. But as far as the Structures tab goes, right, because that, that's why we're here, it's just like the other mods. It gives us a lot of items that we don't get anywhere else. My favorite being the Institute and the Swimming Pool tabs. Yeah, we can literally build a swimming pool with water in it. These floor pieces right here turn into water after you place them down and leave the workshop menu. I've done two builds with this mod. My Institute build, which was so much fun, definitely check that one out and my school build. I used the USS Constitution category for the walls of the teacher's house. Uh, there's also a vault section in here that I'm really excited to use. Basically, it gives us normal structure objects, like normal walls, doorways, floors, uh, that look like vault pieces. Now, anyone who has built a vault with the Vault Tech DLC knows that it can be a bitch. I mean, those pieces are really cool, but you know, it can be very awkward. So I'm really excited to build with this mod. It seems like these pieces would be a lot easier to work with if you're wanting to build, say, a hidden vault somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you see? Little hints at what I'm going to build soon. Uh, and again, there's just so much added with this mod, uh, and I'll talk about other parts of it in my next mod videos. Alright, up next is Thematic and Practical. This is a very practical mod that is usually on theme, <laughs> right? Right? Be because of the name? No one? Okay, fine. It's available for Xbox and PC. Again, PS4 users, I primarily play on Xbox, and these are the mods I use because they are available on my platform. I just, I always feel bad in these videos because hardly any are available for PS4, but the three I mentioned before are excellent alternatives, especially USO. I've seen a few items from all of the ones I've talked about so far in USO. And again, the next mod videos will actually have some PS4 mods available, not alternatives. But anyways, Thematic and Practical also has two versions, one that requires DLCs and one that doesn't. I use the one that you don't need DLCs for. It's a pretty small mod, but size doesn't matter, or so I hear. It only has a few menus, but I have to have all of them. My favorite one is the Trading Emporium. This is the mod that I use for my Sanctuary Marketplace around the tree, and it works great. I love the scrappy looking pieces, and they actually work. Like, you can assign settlers to these stores, and they will interact with them. There's also a scavenger tab, which gives us a lot of scrappy furniture, which I'll talk about more in my decoration mod video. Uh, and this mod is where I got the pieces for my prison settlement build. All of those brotherhood walls and roofs I got from this mod. So it just gives us a few options and objects that I just couldn't live without. And the last one I have to put on this list is Workshop Rearranged. This one is in my last mod videos, and let's be honest, I talk about it all the time because it's my absolute favorite. It just has everything that I look for in a mod, and it just... it just gets me. So if you haven't seen this mod before, it adds a ton of objects to the menu. Like literally, it adds something to every single tab and gives us new tabs packed full of items that we didn't have before. And it improves the snapping system similar to vanilla extensions. So for example, with the vanilla system, you can't snap a wall in between two floors if the floors are already snapped together. You can only snap it on the outside, which makes sense for outer caps, but if we're using flat walls, why the hell can't we snap them in between floors? AKA build rooms. It just blows my mind. But let me let me pull it back a little bit. I'm not gonna go on a rant in this video. But another example with the vanilla system, you can't snap a floor to the top of the wall. You can only snap a roof, which I guess makes sense. But with Workshop Rearranged and Vanilla Extensions, they fix this problem. We can snap just about anything to just about anywhere, and it just, you, you know, it just feels good. And the last thing to note about this mod is that it reorganizes, or rearranges, your workshop menu to make it easier to navigate and to accommodate all the new items that it gives you. And also keep in mind, Workshop Rearrange completely changes your workshop menu. So if you try to install other mods that do the same thing, such as Master Plan and USO, you have to download the Workshop Rearrange patches for each one, otherwise it's not going to work. 
So quick honorable mentions, G2M Workshop is another great mod. I use this in one of my favorite builds, which is the Mountain House build. It gives us a lot of wood walls, container pieces, spiral staircase, and lanterns we can hang from the wall. So definitely worth checking out. And last is pre-war and post-war sanctuary house kit. This is the mod that I ported over to the Xbox. Unfortunately, Sony blocked me from porting over to the PS4. I did try. Now, I didn't create this mod. I just saw it on nexusmods.com and asked the mod author if I could port it. This is the only mod that I have seen that gives us an extensive set of sanctuary house pieces to where we can rebuild these houses. I use this mod all the time, which you'll see in my sanctuary build playlist. But that's it for me. I hope this list and information helps you guys out. If you have any questions, please let me know. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to all of the mod authors out there. I really appreciate all of your hard work to make this game even better, and I thank you for all the effort you put into these mods. But thanks for watching. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. If you don't see them, just click show more and they'll pop up. Give this video a like, hit that subscribe button for more content. I really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.